Fulton School has been vacant for five years, but a Peabody developer plans to convert the 78-year-old building into affordable senior housing. The school committee estimated that it would cost $8 million to have Fulton School conform to the latest building codes. But RSJ Group of Peabody recently paid Weymouth officials $1.2 million to buy the structure. Well, I think converting the Fulton School into senior housing provides an immediate need for the seniors of Weymouth, whereas now, especially in a struggling economy, we can, we're able to provide uh, a multitude amount of seniors with affordable housing. Uh, some will be able to stay in Weymouth, uh, whereas if without this housing, maybe they'd have to move out. RSJ Group plans to build 31 studio apartments 14 single bedroom units, 12 single bedroom apartments, and six units with two bedrooms. A third story will be added on to Fulton to accommodate the apartments, all of which will be rented to seniors who earn less than the median income. The Fulton School was put up for sale. Uh, it was one of the councils that's in my district that was opposed to selling that. I wanted to um, have some type of a, a study done to see what the renovation costs would be to keep that school open, knowing that we were going to have uh, added residents uh, in South Weymouth with the redevelopment of the base, but once, um, once we realized that the extensive damage and the handicap issues in the school uh, were, were way too expensive, um, I realized that that was not going to be happening and that would never come to fruition. Uh, so having said that, uh, the sale of the school um, will certainly allow uh, for us to increase our housing stock for our seniors. Weymouth seniors will receive preference to live at Fulton after renovations to the school are completed. Uh, we, as a councillor and council, we made sure that those uh, housing units were available to Weymouth residents, that they were going to have at least 70% of those units available, so that people who are now empty nesters who grew up in the town, uh, their children have now moved on, so they now have an opportunity to stay and live in the town that they've raised their family in, and it really starts to continue that sense of um, fit community spirit and, and Weymouth community spirit. The seniors who will live at Fulton shall be in walking distance to nearby Negus Field. RSJ plans to build 54 parking spaces for spectators who will be attending athletic events at Negus Field. Look forward to the project moving forward. Look forward to the $1.2 million coming from uh, the developer for the sale of that. Uh, which is needed funds that we can use in 2010 uh, for many of our areas that have been cut over 2009. So um, I certainly look forward to that project moving forward and um, seeing how it comes out in the end. Additional information about the sale of Fulton School and the plan to convert it into senior housing are available in this week's edition of the Weymouth News and on its online website www.wickedlocal.com forward slash Weymouth. Reporting to you for the Weymouth News, this is Ed Baker.